Whoa. Center, center. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the Mike and Tay channel. Um, so first of all, I apologize that Mike hasn't been in some of the videos. Like I know I have like two out of the five videos that are up that are only me. And that's only because Mike comes over on the weekends only and um, the stuff we use to film our equipment is actually my equipment so he doesn't get to film when he's at home. He only films when he comes up on the weekends. You know we try to get in as many videos as we can throughout the week or at least to pre-film videos so that when he's not here then I can just edit and upload. Today's video is just going to be me and I'm going to be doing um, my February favorites. I know it's already like March 11, or well, at least March 11 here on Guam, but um, yeah, I figured I might as well do my February favorites. I actually have quite a lot of favorites for February, and so we're just going to jump into the video. <laughs> Um, my first category for favorites is makeup, and my first one is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix, and this is actually my favorite concealer because it's not too runny. My skin is on the darker side, and it does have more of an olivey undertone, so um, it took a while for me to find a shade that actually matched my skin tone, but I finally did and I couldn't be happier. Uh, next is my Maybelline Mascara Great Lash. It's a very distinctive bottle. Um, I've been using this for god knows how long. I've probably been through like 50 to 100 bottles of these. And I also use the uh, non-waterproof mascara because I just like the lighter application. It's less clumpy. I have tried the waterproof, but um, this one is just the best for me. And my last two makeup favorites are my foundations. I actually, it's they're both the L'Oreal True Match um, foundations, and I actually got this darker shade first, N7. I'm really bad in finding my shade, like just picking it out of the rack or whatever. And so I just guessed, and I got the N7, and. When I first tried it, it was it looked super dark, but then I had to like take a step back and see that it actually was pretty close to my skin tone, but it wasn't there yet. So I went back and I got the N6, but the N6 was actually lighter, so I had a foundation that was lighter and a foundation that was darker. So of course, I mixed them together and I got my own shade, which is amazing, which is really good so that I didn't have to waste the N7 and the N6. So yeah. These have been glorious and they apply in between a dewy and matte look so that's perfect because I don't like to look so matte where it looks like fake caked makeup but um, I also don't like to look very dewy where I look super oily and stuff. So in between is where I prefer which is exactly what these two foundations or this brand of foundation specifically gives me. So that is actually all for my makeup uh, favorites. And next, we're going to move on to food and drinks. So, dear Jesus, my first food favorite is this. And this is, this is actually um, not only a February's favorite, but this has actually been a favorite of mine for years. I think ever since I tried it in middle school, they gave it out as one of the sides for lunch. And they only give us, like, two pieces but I went back and I just got like so much and ever since then I became so obsessed. It's so good. I don't even know how to describe it. It's crunchy, it's spicy, and anyone who knows me knows that I love spicy. So yeah, this has been like a really good favorite snack of mine since 8th grade and I love it. Another food favorite of mine, I actually don't have it because it's been such a favorite that I've eaten all of it. And I don't have any to show you, except I can show you a picture of it right here. So yeah, this is my uh, favorite candy bar. It's the Crunchy Bar. I toffee and chocolate and oh my god, it's so good. I've actually eaten like 20 in like the past week or so. It's so good. It's 
Now we're on to my drinks favorites. And um, first is my coconut water. I love, 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 love coconut water so much. Not only have I been loving like regular coconut water, but I've been loving the coconut water with a uh, mango flavor. It's like wet and it's dripping all over my computer. I've tried a bunch of coconut water uh, brands, but a lot of them taste too like artificial but this one is the ultimate and it comes in a really big bottle so or carton so I love that so I don't have to keep going back and forth and getting new ones and the next one I have is um, my Asim coffee milk tea I am not a fan of milk tea but I am a fan of coffee and the first time I tried this, it tasted so freaking good. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's so good. I even got my sisters obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, I love, 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 love this. And, oh, I forgot something. Sriracha sauce. <laughs> I love sriracha. I will put it on literally anything. I mostly put it in, like, my pastas or on my pizza. I'm, like, obsessed. Like I said, anyone who knows me knows that I love spicy. But that's it for my food's favorite, food and drinks favorite. And now we're going to move on to, um, we'll do music. I have eight songs that I have been obsessed with in the past month. And the first one is Piece by Piece by Kelly Clarkson because I saw this on Facebook. It was one of those shared videos on my timeline and so I watched it. And I cried so much because the lyrics were just so powerful. And her performance, uh, I think she performed it on American Idol. Her performance for that song on American Idol just blew me away. You have no idea. I was crying so much. But this is how it goes. This is the intro. My next favorite song is from the show Full House and oh my god the lighting just went down. My next favorite song is from the show Full House and it's by Jesse and the Rippers and it's called Forever and this is how it goes. I love this song so much. That's it for that song. Team Jesse and Becky. Okay, my next favorite song is Secret Love Song by Little Mix featuring Jason Derulo. This song is just amazing. It's such a feel good song. I've played this like 120 times. When you hold me in the street, their vocals are just so good. I wish that it could be like that Why can't it be like that? Cause I'm here And chorus Why can you hold me in the street? Why can't I kiss you on the dance floor? And love, 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 love that song Okay, next one is um, Stand By You by Rachel Platten her song, Fight Song, was like amazing. I was in love with that song so much. So when I heard, or when I saw that she had other songs out, I went to go check it out and I loved Stand By You. It's so good. That's the end for that song. And my next favorite song is I Won't Let You Go by... Who are you by? I Won't Let You Go by James Morrison. It's really nice and really uh, mellow. When it's black Take a little time to hold yourself There's no time to be alone, alone, yeah I won't let you go and The next 
next song is Break Up in a Small Town. Wow. Okay, I've played this song a lot. Love this song. It's so good. It just has like a really good beat. It's Break Up in a Small Town by Sam Hunt. I forgot to say the artist. So he talks a lot in his songs. Are you ready for this beat? This beat, oh my god. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. One of my favorites is Signs by Project 46. I've never heard of the artist Project 46, but I heard the song um, as a background as background music for one of my favorite vloggers and so this is how it goes. Do we go left? I see no signs. Do we go right? You feel? Can't decide. Do we turn back? Do we turn back? See your face. I start to so that's it for all the music favorites. I will leave a link to the videos of those songs in the description down below. So make sure to check out the description um, if you're interested in any of those songs. The next thing we're going to move on to is clothes and shoes. So if you guys watched my vlog with Mike when we went to, I think it's called shoes, makeup, and fries or something like that. If you watch that vlog, then you will know how obsessed I am with my new shoes. I love them so much. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? They're just so amazing. These are the Nike Air Max um, limited edition and they're in Milan. There's six different countries that they're designed after and I got the one designed after Milan. So. Yeah, these are mine. Can we, can we just appreciate this color? Like, this is so beautiful. I am like so obsessed with it. It's just so beautiful and I love it and they're my new babies. Like every single time I go out with these shoes, I bring another pair of shoes just in case it's like bad weather, raining, stuff like that. I do not want to wear these out like that. So I always change if, if the weather somehow takes a turn for the worse. Um, because these babies are too precious. And my clothes favorites. Okay, so like I've been obsessed with like midriff shirts, like very soft midriff t-shirts specifically. So I have the, I have this one. I got it from, where did I get you from? I got this shirt from Jeans Warehouse and it's just so comfortable and soft. It's it's really soft. Like I, I don't. I think this is the softest shirt I have in my wool closet. The next one I have is this one. This is from Forever Twenty One. It's a little bit wrinkled, but um, this is the next one. It's a pink and white uh, shirt from Forever Twenty One. It's really nice. I usually pair these with um, my high waisted shorts and my white Converse, or just regular shorts. But most of the time, I pair it with um, high waisted shorts. And my next shirt, I've been really obsessed with long sleeves too. This one, I've been wearing a lot recently. This is super, 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 super amazing. This is from Forever 21 as well. I just love the pattern. My grandma actually used to wear a lot of these. Every time I wear these, uh, family members always ask if this is my grandma's shirt, but it's not. I was actually iffy when I tried it on because the long sleeve part, the sleeve part was very constricting. It doesn't make me sweat or anything, and that's why I'm a big fan of it. I've actually paired this skirt with this shirt, I don't know how many times, but uh, I just love this skirt. This skirt is so classy, and um, I love army green. I love, 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 love army green. Anything army green shirts, army green. I actually wore an army green shirt in my video yesterday, but I love army green anything. It actually says my tie on it, but I got it from Forever 21. And I'm a super big fan of it. I love it. It just makes me look mature and sophisticated and classy. And those are all the things I try to be. So that is it for the clothes and shoes, apparel, um, favorites for February. The next thing I have is movies. Okay, so my favorite movie that I've been watching on my laptop in February is The Good Witch. It's actually a series of movies. There's... Um, I believe six or seven The Good Witch movies, 
And right now I am on number four or five, I forgot. But um, yeah, I've been so obsessed with it. It's starring Katherine Bell and she's such an amazing actress. And I love it and she's, I just love how kind she is in the movies. It's all about family and good fortune and just being kind and generous to everyone no matter how horrible they are to you. And I just love the message that that movie gives out. Um, movies that I watched in the theater I actually don't remember if I watched this in February or if I recently watched it in March, but uh, I'm just going to put it in anyways because it was such a great movie. London Has Fallen. Oh my god, if you have not seen London Has Fallen, you have not lived. It's a sequel to Olympus Has Fallen, I think that's what it's called. Both movies are super action-packed. I actually watched London Has Fallen twice. That's how good it was. So if you haven't seen the movie, you need to go watch it or watch the trailer and maybe that will make you want to go watch it. I'll leave a link below for the trailers for all of my favorite movies. But that is it for my movie favorites and my TV show favorites. I watch a lot of TV shows, probably a lot more than movies. My favorite TV shows right now, it's the Good Witch series, which is right after all six or seven movies. They're actually filming season two right now and it's just so amazing, like I said. It's the same as this, the movies, but um, it's more grounded and settled because it is a series, so you get to see more of the characters and um, understand them more. And another one is Fuller House. I know everyone has watched it, so I probably don't have to even explain, but I'll just tell you how emotional I was because I was very, very emotional. It was so good. Like, I kept playing like the first 15 seconds of the show when Danny would just pop out of under the counter. I watched the reruns of that show growing up and it was so good. I watched it from start to finish and it just makes me miss everything about my childhood. Um, seeing how they've grown so much and um, all the parallels between Full House and Fuller House, it's it's just really amazing and I'm sure everyone has watched it but if you haven't watched it you need to go watch it it's on Netflix uh, give it a few days or weeks and it will probably uh, be up on like streaming sites and stuff if you don't have a Netflix account the next thing I have been obsessed with is when calls the heart it's on the Hallmark Channel I don't know recently I've been all for like home and family movies the good witch and when calls the heart are actually both on the Hallmark Channel and When Calls the Heart actually gives out the same message as The Good Witch because Hallmark likes to give out the feeling of family, of community, of love, you know, all of those great things. And so When Calls the Heart is a Western and surprisingly, I love it. Like, I'm not a big fan of Western shows or uh, movies, but I love When Calls the Heart. It's so good. I, I binge watch that show. They're on season three right now. And I binge watched that show within a week. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And the next TV show I've been obsessed with is Tyler Henry Hollywood Medium. Tyler Henry Hollywood Medium is actually on the E! channel. So you can guess it's a, more of a reality series. Not like Ghost Whisperer where it was fiction and... Um, I guess I wasn't that into Ghost Whisper because it was more on the scarier side and I'm not really a big fan of scary shows or movies or anything, but I just love how Tyler Henry loves to help people and get closure and everything and, you know, seeing the emotional side and the private life of certain celebrities, like, I'm all for that because, you know, the media likes to paint a picture on how celebrities should act when they're in public how how just they should present themselves in general and to see to have this show and to see the celebrities put their guard down for closure or to see their more emotional side like I'm all for that and I love 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 this show it's new and I've been like really really obsessed with it um, but I really appreciate all that Tyler Henry does for these celebrities. I, I just, I love all of those shows, like all the shows that I listed. They're all great and if you haven't watched it, you should. I'll link a preview to the shows down below. But that is it for my February favorites. If you have any 
uh, suggestions on anything that I could try for March maybe, then leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions for any more links, leave a comment below and I'll add a link to the description. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You know the drill already. Share it to all your family, all your friends, everyone you know. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, leave a comment below on what we can improve on. And uh, make sure to stay tuned this weekend for more videos. I don't believe Mikey is coming over this weekend, so it might just be like a vlog or something. Make sure to stay tuned for more videos this weekend and for days to come because I plan on filming a lot more videos for you guys now that all the technical difficulties are out of the way. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really loved filming the video. It was really fun and I actually didn't realize how many favorites I had in each category or favorites overall, but I loved filming this video, so yeah. Adios, amigos. Of course, I mixed them together and I got my perfect shade. Hello. Uh, food, another. And now we're on to my drinks favorite. Favorite. Oh, wrong. that's not it. Just kidding. Second every call. This is the first. No, it's not the How do you I see you? I am so hungry. A carol. Yes. Okay. So You're walking in no nitty gritty mud. I've been obsessed with like crop tops, but not like too crop. What would you call them? Like midriff? Midriff? Uh, jeans or just regular. Sh The next thing I have is my, whoo, my makeup bag. Holy cow. This baby is, this baby keeps growing. Keeps growing. It actually has grown a lot in the past week because I've been like so obsessed with makeup.